In this section of the course, we're going to start looking at edit modes and edit tools. Now we've already looked at one tool, which is the selection tool. And remember, you can hit F7 to get that. In this lesson, we're going to look at the grabber tool, which is F8. And there are actually three grabber tools. If I hold down my mouse button, I can see the three. Time, separation, and object. And if I hit F8 repeatedly, I toggle between all three of them. Now, the hand or the time grabber tool simply lets me grab a section of audio that's already chopped up and move it. Moving it there, moving it here, moving it there, and of course I can undo. If I select an area and I have loop playback turned on, which I just did by control clicking my play button here, Move over here and loop this section. Sounds pretty much the same. How about this one? Okay. Now, if I use my separation grabber tool, then what happens is anything I select and move will break that apart and create a separate region. Let me show you. Let's break out this last horn stab. So I've selected it with my select tool. I hit F8, and now you'll see the hand has a little scissors on it. And when I move it, it moves that region separately. Now, just to show you the difference, let me go back by pressing F8 to my regular time tool. And if I hit my hand here, it selects the whole region and just moves that. So the separation tool will grab a part of a region and just move that section, which is very nice. And finally, the object tool will let me select objects that aren't connected. If I select this, you'll see it's highlighted in yellow. I shift click this one, I shift click that one, and shift click that one, and now I can move all four of them, even though they're not connected. Again, if I hit F8 and try that same thing with my regular grabber tool, there, shift click, shift click, well, I'm selecting now the regions continuously, which is not what I want. Now, what's nice is I can go between grabber mode in time mode and grabber in object mode. And why would I want to do that? Well, let's go ahead and select over here. I only want to select the regions in that area. I go to my object tool, my object grabber, and double click it. And now I've selected both of those regions. By the way, if I've selected within a region, and I want to get from the very beginning to the very end, then there's a key to do that, and that is to add control. And now if I press control when I double click, I get the whole regions. It works the other way too. If I have separate regions selected and I want to connect them all and select the area in between, I can actually double click the selector tool, and that will get me the whole area continuous. Object, I'm back to object, selector, I'm back to this with the whole area in between. One other cool thing with the grabber tool is I can use the option key to make a copy of something. Remember the option key is very useful throughout Pro Tools. Let's take this stab here and I'll option drag it, make a copy, and option drag it again and make another copy. Very nice. So that's the grabber tool.